Hey everyone, thanks for watching again and um, thought I'd explain a bit more about the heating system here. UV filtration, which you see the two Star Wars like lightsaber things in the tank here. This UVC, 125 watt UVC lamps. They need about 30 seconds retention time, which I can't achieve here. My water flow is much too high, but the water quality uh, clarity is much, much higher. You see on this um, one of the heating elements here, brown al al algae. Sorry, my German is mixing up my English. Brown algae there, um, that's due to high silicates in the water. Also, high nit no, not high nitrates, but nitrates in the water. It's basically, a breeding ground for algae is quite perfect. Um, UV actually kills the brown algae, kills algae in the water, kills anything in the past three. Pump number one, pump number two, and pump number three. Doesn't actually have a UV system, but that was only built two weeks ago, just for Christmas. It, this will be rearranged in the next weeks. Anyway, pull the water pass through to the pump, pass through past the UVC, UVC lamp um, kills most things go past like kills everything goes past it basically i'm sure some water gets missed but this water is slowly quite quickly rotating but it's rotating around in a circle water has to pass through these uvcs to get to my pumps so it helps um, it's not a uh, twenty thousand dollar UV sterilization system. This is really a basic, cheapish UVC system. Um, here are nearly 95 to 98% recycled water, so the UVs aren't so necessary, but it makes a big difference with clarity in the water. So we can see our fish swimming around. Step over to the new oxygen system. Takes a little bit of a walk around before we. Um, with the customers coming in a minute to buy some tilapia and so. And if you see this, this is an oxygen cone. Sorry about the camera work. It's an oxygen cone, oxygen, um, oxygen, oxygen reactor. Pump 100% pure oxygen, liquid oxygen, into this cone on the other side there to the blue hose. Water is pumped in through here. Uh, runs about 30 cubic meters an hour. It's all to do with how much pressure we can run through the system. We're going at about 1.5 bar. That's not that too bar, but I think 1.5, 1.7. I achieved my 300% saturation. As you can see, the butterfly valve here, the source from us, less than us, yes. Um, connections there. It's from 110 here, down to 75 up into the tanks and it's uh, 75 all the way through but reduction it's only due to cost factor and also due to the fact we don't have need 75 millimeters through to every tank so i reduced it to 65 this taps about half price compared to a 75 millimeter the 63 millimeter um, taps and pipe and the 75 millimeter is like double the price basically um, then you go to the 110 millimeter, and it comes much, much cheaper actually. It's not much more expensive for the 110 millimeter as what it is for the 75. Um, Tap-wise, sure, but uh, for piping that, it's very quite cheap. Uh, it's much cheaper. Back to the oxygen cone, as you saw before. These big ass things here. Um, LHOs, low head oxygenators. 2.4 meters high, piping diameter. Um, they can only give as much pressure as gravity feet. So 2.4 meters high, 0.24 per bar of pressure. Here we're able to achieve the two bar of pressure. A lot more pressure, a lot more saturation, a lot less loss of oxygen. Here are my good friends at um, this 
auction company that I won't say the name uh, but they're my great friends that have helped me out a lot these are just some um, temporary bottles that we've uh, received over the last um, few weeks the day before Christmas I started getting liquid oxygen in had some problems with my concentrators they're also concentrating in nitrogen um, nitrogen into the water um, there's only 90 for these machines between 95 to 98% saturation uh, pure oxygen but what is that 5 to 2, two to 5% that isn't oxygen CO2, argon, nitrogen like stickstoff um, in German um, what we need is pure liquid sour stuff, that's oxygen. Um, I don't know what to do. Oxygen, oxygen, oh, and sour stuff. That's um, oxygen in, in a few other languages. Anyway, they're all connected together. Um, so it's just one tap, you can load it on either side of the thing you want. But you run all 12 bottles at the same time. I'll quickly show you. These are only the 200 bar series. They only load up to about 220, 240 bar. Um, and now it's down to just under 200. It's up to three or four days of running. We're running on three and a half bar of pressure. But it's like the whole system. A constant pressure of 200 bar. It's slowly go down. But what's great is that it's all connected together. I can literally combine this bundle, we call them a bundle, to the next bundle which is down there, which I can bring down close of course, down to here. Next two together, or 20 or 30. Um, and uh, the risk is much, much lower, like I won't run out of oxygen, and I'll have to only refill once every three months or so. But we've opted for the um, uh, what do you call that? A silo, it's, it's um, a tower, which contains about four to five tons of liquid oxygen. That will be stored out by that wall over there. It's uh, four to five meters high, four and four point five to five meters high. Weighs about eight tons and um, we're running with pure liquid oxygen in the farm from now on. Just a reserve bottle here, doesn't do anything at the moment. I'm running about um, six liters per minute of liquid, uh, not liquid gas, liquid to gas conversion, I can explain in another video, here to this one oxygen concentrated, the cone, I get 8 litres a minute, a uh, maximum, and I'm sure push more but then it's waste. Through the two black LHOs I can get probably between 2 to 4 litres a minute per each one, um, we're soon to try it out, and we're running 4 litres a minute, um, a little bit of wastage, so I'm trying to reduce that wastage. Um, they're running off these blue machines, they'll be turned off over the next weeks when the new big car arrives. Yeah. One thing, don't put your fire extinguisher next to your auction cane, like auction bottles. You get a fire in here, which is pretty little risk, but it's highly flammable. You're not going to be able to get to the auction thing there. Bloody um, practicants. I, I probably did it myself, but I'll blame it on my practicants. Anyway guys, it's a great pump I've got here. Um, Polluters huge amounts of pressure. You can pump about 30-40 meters high and runs on relative low power. Um, I'm gonna keep you updated. I think my time's pretty much up right now. The heating system, we're gonna do one more time. We get the heating from the sawmill. Sawmill creates electricity for the for the community, for a few communities around us, and when you create electricity, it creates a lot of heat. So this excess heat, we use to heat the whole community plus the other communities, and they still have excess throughout the whole year, throughout summer as well. So I don't steal it, but I can talk to them to get it even cheaper, but we use the excess heat. Oh, they use water to cool down their electrical plant, plant there, um, this warm water, we actually use a bit cooler than what they give it to us. They give it to us about 80, 90 degrees Celsius. We reduce that heat to 50 degrees to reduce calcium buildup in all of our pipes. Water runs through the pipe, 
up, back, back to the system, runs all the way back down to the end of the farm, all the way down there. Back down to the system downstairs. That I'll show you in the next, like, one of the next videos. Um, yep, so, give me five or ten minutes. I'll leave with another video of the awesome size, not awesome size, yeah, pretty good. Some good size bar money we have for, um, to sell at the moment. And, yeah, stay tuned, give me some info. I'll start doing my videos in German soon. Some fish smoking will come up. Uh, when Tuesday, Wednesday next week, do a video about smoking fish and filleting fish. And any other videos you would like to do. I've had a few people request a few things. Just let me know. Leave it in the comments below. And um, I'll do the best I can. Thanks guys. Have a great weekend. And um, talk to you soon. Ciao.